Hi, thank you for stopping by. I wanted to share another um, junk journal I made and I wanted to let you know what motivated me on this one in particular. I'm at night time when I can't sleep. I go through YouTube channels to find very creative ideas and I came across this one channel and I can't find it. I've looked through my history to try to thank her for her wonderful ideas. So if you're watching this, um, please let me know because this is so creative. Basically it is sheet music and then the outside are napkins that you mod podge together. So this one here, I didn't sew it yet, but on this one, I did hand sew it here. And what I did with um, this particular book, I included one of these very creative envelopes inside the middle of each um, signature page. This one, you can see I hand sewed it. And I just like sometimes when you have just the name of the sheet music or the song, and then it just goes from there. Just really, really cool and creative. So with that in mind, let's go through this um, really cute junk journal. And I um, wanted to let you know too that I try to use scrap paper with the same theme, kind of vintage, some flowers, some butterflies, some birds. And this actual cover is from a box. So I just cut it out, cut um, the edges so I can have a front and back cover and it all just got bound together. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and go through this. And you can see the signatures there and one of those envelopes that I've made are in between. So again, this is kind of like a vintage flower, you know, birds kind of a cool journal. The pages are the last pages I have where I would use um, leaves and then I would boil them on the paper and then it would leave this really cool leaf pattern. So the paper is nice and thick. I think it's um, um, watercolor paper. So I like to use that. And then here are some leaves I put. And it's sometimes hard to cover the leaf pattern. So if you draw lines, then you can write things down. It'll still keep the pattern there. So here's one of those really neat envelopes. I added flowers here and I added Velcro. And then in each envelope, I added this really strong poster board paper where you can add more memories or pictures, whatever you have. And then here's a cool layout. And then up here is some washi tape. And there's another butterfly. You're going to see some butterflies and flowers throughout. And some birds. So here's a dry flower there. Just a cool layout. And then here is another cool envelope. And then you pull this out. And you have a place to add more photos. And then right here is just some burlap. And look at how cool the, the leaf, I'm sorry, the napkin cover was on this one. You can see it here in the back. Just really neat. Another layout there. You can kind of see some of the leaf pattern behind that. And then just another layout here. Here's another envelope. You open it up and then there's a pull out. This is how cool that just lays over the sheet music. Just really super creative. I like it. Okay, here in the back. So you can see here's a really cool leaf. So I drew lines there. So you write your memories, you can still see the leaf pattern. And then places to put photos and memories. There's another flower up here. Kind of a cool border down there. Another envelope. See how cool this is? Sometimes I'll put the graphics of the sheet music where you can see it. And then you can see the name of the sheet music. And then you have a pull out. So really neat. And then there's another layout. Some more flowers on this side. That's a neat um, sheet music cover. And that's just... Um, the graphics on it and then a pull out here and then that really neat leaf pattern then I did some cut out some flowers from the scrap paper there just a mix of different type of scrap paper just to kind of keep that same theme going here I added some butterflies open up there here's the outside of the sheet music and then some notes by the person um, who had this at one time. I found this, um, these sheet music, just a whole bunch of it at a state cell. It's just really neat. It's definitely vintage. Some of them are dated 1918, so I just love them. I have so many pieces of that. I'm sure I'll be utilizing for other projects. Cool leaf pattern down there. A little scrapbook saying right there. Here's another envelope. It just looks so neat how the napkins just lay over on the sheet music and then I used some, no actually I didn't use any tea stain, that was just the actual cover of the sheet music. And here's another pull out right there, it says Love and Roses. 
two exceptional waltz. There you go with some more layouts. This one here on this, I added some buttons. You open it up. And then the pull out is right there. That one has a little bit of a bling on the scrap paper as well. And it's kind of a plain sheet, but definitely can add some memories there. Another layout with a little flower here. There's some more sheet music. I think I just used a clear, in fact I did, I just used a clear um, napkin on this one just to highlight the sheet music. Then I actually just added that piece there and this flower. Another pull out. It's really neat. I keep saying that, I'm sorry. I just really like this new craft, crafty idea with the sheet music and the napkins and the way it makes envelopes. And then here's the last page. So I hope you like this. Um, please like and subscribe and visit my Etsy channel. And thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.